Yo, ho, Devi junkies. Brandon here from the Devi Deep Dive podcast. And I'm joined by Corey Piera from the Devi Dashboard as well. And we are going to be talking some Kendall Milton film. Super excited. Corey and I have been trying to get together for over a month. Uh, but between holidays and busy schedules, it is Labor Day. Um, and uh, so we have a great film grind on Milton that we're excited to share with you today. How are you doing, Corey? I'm doing good, man. It's been a busy month. Work is crazy. Uh, getting a house mm -hmm. built, so I've been pretty crazy. But uh, it's nice to finally get together and look at a really interesting prospect here, one that I've got ranked pretty high. Yeah, I, I, I got him ranked pretty high, too. And I think after making these clips, I think I may have bumped him up uh, in my ranks about a, a couple of weeks ago when I redid my ranks on the dashboard. But let's get to it, man. So Kendall Milton, right, playing for Georgia. He's a sophomore, six foot one, 220 pounds. He had limited carries last year, obviously, with Zamir White being the guy. He had 35 carries for 193 yards, averaging 5.5 yards carry. And he only had one reception for 22 yards. So we're going to be going over his film. Got a lot of all 22 film, which is great. Um, you know, like I said, you only have 35 carries, so we do have a limited selection of film. But nonetheless, we are going to be looking at his vision and patience, his footwork and lateral ability, his burst and long speed, uh, his strength and contact balance, which is you're going to find out is going to be one of his best strengths that we believe he has, and then his pass catching ability. So let's get right to it, man. We're going to look at his vision and patience. All right, and we got again some all 22 clips here, and we also have a couple uh, clips uh, were thrown in here from his game against Clemson a couple days ago. So, uh, but we're excited to get into it. So we're gonna, like I said, look at his vision and patience. All right, Corey. So uh, what what do you see here on this first clip? Yeah, I mean uh, it, the hole closes quickly. I think the hole is kind of designed to go in the middle there, but 50 gets turned around, the center gets taken up. Like, and if you kind of pause it right off the handoff here, yeah, it looks like he's it's right there, but it, there's nothing there. So I thought he had an avenue to kind of take it outside the right side. I guess it would be if we're looking from the other way because the defender's falling down there. So I thought there was an avenue there to hit tough play, but I thought there was something there he could have hit. Yeah, I think his, you know, his patience here as he navigates the line was good. But I feel like he just put his head down and really didn't have the ability. I think there was some ability here to go make a play on the right on his outside. All right, a second clip yeah. here. Let's run through it, and then we'll go back and see what we see. All right, so, you know, again, look at his strength and toughness. But on this particular play, you know, I think okay. he is, uh, you know, it's a tough play. The gap gets filled pretty quickly by that linebacker. I would like to have seen him, you know, maybe maybe bounce it outside. Thought maybe he could add a little bit more patience on this particular play. Again, this is what the segment of the show is about. You know, he kind of rushes the hole. I think he could have maybe gone a little bit more lateral at the beginning of this play to see that that gap was going to be filled and then jump outside. But instead, he just, you know, we're going to see this throughout this film. Corey and I were talking pre-show that he likes to use his physicality quite a bit, and you're going to see that. So he really took that defender head on, and you can, again, see the toughness on that particular play. Anything you want to add on that one, Corey? Yeah, no, I just thought it was a tough play. I agree with you there. Like you see number 43 is, oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you see number 43 there uh, was cutting off the uh, the side and you see the other defenders cutting off the side. So I do think it was a bit of a tough play for him. He just yeah, kind of made was. a business decision, hit the hole straight ahead right. and, and uh, took the guy on. Let's run through this one. Oh yeah, this is the one we were talking about pre-show. We were, <laughs> we were like, "What is he doing?" Yeah. Right? So look, he, you know, he finds a nice hole. Okay, nothing special there, but he has. I mean, look at the. We were talking about the QB is like touchdown. He's got all of this yeah. landscape, and then he goes inside and initiates contact and takes a wicked hit, nonetheless. I mean, look at that leg. Oof. I mean, but so this was a vision. His secondary, his vision. You know, there's two ways to look at vision, right? At the line of scrimmage, navigating, and then in the open field. And here. Um, I think he missed a huge opportunity on that particular play. Yeah, I think he had multiple more yards to get if he had just continued his path to the corner. Just rush it. You might even be able to get a better angle to take on the, the defender if he's coming at you from the ang from a different angle. You know what I mean? Instead of taking him right. head on like he decides to do. I mean, he took a nasty hit on that too, but he left. Uh, <laughs> he had a uh, he yeah, had a touchdown right there, and we would have been yeah. able to see his long speed a little bit too. Right? Yeah, exactly. All right, so again, we'll take a look at it. You know, going, to, you know, laterally going along the line, is trying to find his gap. Nice dead leg there, kind of. And I don't know how to feel about this one. I feel like there there was some opportunity to maybe cut back here, maybe get a little get a little tighter to his, uh, you know, the guy that lost the battle there, but at least maybe make that cut a little earlier. 
Kenny kind of went right into. Yeah, it. it's any, a it's a hard it, it's one? a hard cut to make there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a hard. Yeah, I, uh, I there's a lot of backs that probably can't make that cut back inside. The whole momentum of the play is going to the left, but but yeah, he right. is on the bigger side, right? So maybe some of the sharper cuts we're not going to expect to see from him. Yeah. So here's uh, we got two plays right here from the game a couple days ago. All right, and uh, Kendall Milton here. All right. So I guess my thought was I thought he navigated the line of scrimmage well. I'd like how he stayed skinny to his uh, offensive lineman. Um, but I felt as though, again, he had the ability to make somebody try and miss here instead of, you know, again, felt like he could have maybe vision. Again, that's what we're looking at, right? So here he is. He sees two defenders trying to maybe make that cut a little sooner. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, I do. I, I, I will say I like um, some of the things he's doing at the line of scrimmage. I like how he kind of presses towards the right side and kind of makes those defenders kind of shuffle a little bit to the right side. And he's able to kind of hit his inside hole back, uh, cut back mm -hmm. inside that little hole. He does try to make the last guy miss there. You know, um, we, we talked about it with a lot of these younger backs is, is, is on the second level. They're kind of right. referring to or resorting to what feels natural, whether it's power for guys like Milton and train them or whether it's dancing a little bit too much like Gibbs or something like that. But, right. but yeah, I, I, it, a lot of, these young backs they need a little bit more development on the second level i think absolutely absolutely yeah i do think that we we gotta we'll see it a little bit more in the in the um, in footwork and lateral ability too but a little bit of uh, credibility to his patience too because he kind of does that that lay bell slow press where mm -hmm. he kind of slowly approaches the line sees how things are setting up and then hits that hole and goes so uh, yeah. i do want to give him some some uh some props for that for sure yeah, I, I think his patience is much better than his vision. I mean, I think he like you know he like right here, like you said, and then he kind of shows a little burst here. I guess my knock on this particular play is again he is initiating contact. Where right here, right here, know, yeah, like yeah. You, you got the, you got this space here, and there's a defender who's going to come in off the screen. But I mean, right here, he should be trying to make this guy miss with some sort of uh, manipulation, and instead he just lowers his head, and then he kind of takes just another unnecessary hit there at the end that I felt was. Again, he should be cutting right there and looking for open grass instead of just again lowering his shoulder, trying to, to to bowl somebody over. But so I think overall, I mean, his vision and patience is is you know is is above average. I think is like you said, his patience might be a little better than his vision. So let's get to footwork and lateral ability. Uh, Corey and I think both are on the same page that he is above average in this trait as well. We look at some of those a nice like cutback right there. Um, again, we're looking at footwork here. We're looking at lateral ability in these clips. So we're looking to see, you know, what 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 is he doing with the legs? You know, does he have the athleticism to, to to create space for himself? That's what the that's what it's all about. I thought he that was a heck of a run for not much being open and available. Um, he got four or five yards on that play. Right, and, and I actually found it kind of surprising how sudden he feels when he does move laterally for for his size, and you know, and we'll see it a lot more through here. But he's able to string together multiple moves. He's not just a one cut guy. You know, it's a cut yeah. against the grain there. It's a cut upfield right there, and then he's able to to do a lot of things that you wouldn't necessarily expect from a two hundred and twenty pound back. Yeah, and I'd like he do, his yards after contact is really impressive. You'll notice throughout all of this film that he you know yeah. gets a lot of yards after contact. I liked how he got yeah, skinny there, yeah. in the hole. Yeah, that was, uh, was you know, like I, you I like, said. Again, it, yeah, it's pressing that line, and he's able to cut back inside. He does it quite a few times in this clip, that, especially on that kind of run. He's a, He knows to press that line, sell those defenders that way, cut back inside. And then here, you know, he tries to make another guy miss even at the end, almost gets away from him. So this is actually like, you know, this, this was one of his better runs on this tape, I thought. I, I think so too. And, you know, I like how he, you know, manipulates the defenders over there, gets everyone, even number 15 here is, uh, is leaning, you know, to the outside. He yeah. comes back. I like how he gets skinny in there. It would be interesting. You know, he cuts back here after he sees these defenders, maybe a, a lane could have been here, but again, I did, it's all about the footwork and I like the sidestep the you know, to try and that he would have had a nice run if he could have gotten around that particular defender. Yeah. Yeah, and same thing here. And it's a lot of you see a lot of dead leg from him, and you know, I kind of mm -hmm. wonder if maybe he spent some time looking at Swift's tape a little bit, but uh, yeah. it's maybe not as hard as Swift's is. But he he, he does it a lot. Mm -hmm. It's boom, it's boom, it's yeah, it's yeah. I like how he tried to manipulate that defender there. Kind of, kind of um, couldn't get by him. Throws him a little bit he, too. He gets three extra yards here. 
That's right. I and mean, again, the yards after contact is just outstanding. And I guess that's what you come to expect from a Georgia running back, right? Anymore. Yeah. This is another one of my favorite favorites too. Yeah. Just his, his cutting ability. It's boom. Kind of boom. Yeah. Yep. Two, two uh, nice, nice lateral footwork there on that particular play. I like how he yeah. manipulated the defender number 20. You can see that they both kind of stopped there a little bit and then he dead legs to the left and, you know, gets what probably three or yeah. four more yards, five more yards on that particular play. It's the, it's the suddenness too. He feels very sudden. He, yes, he does gets quickly the other way. Yeah. Like yeah. you change direction. There was, was, was impressive. You know, he's trying yeah. to hop, step, scop, hop, scotch around him. Boom! It's just fast. Yeah. Like we said, we don't, we we didn't get many clips of his long speed, but you can see a lot of that 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 burst. And oh yeah, this clip. We I mean, we were yeah. just talking about this clip before, and it's yeah. This is how the he ballerina. Gets this this is the ballerina clip, right? Yeah. So you can see his footwork. You know, just you know, toe tapping and skipping and, around. Yeah, know, skipping around. So and I and I, like I said before, I I kind of related it almost. Yeah, I almost related it to to Adrian Peterson the way he's got those knees all the way up there. That's what that was one mm -hmm. thing that Adrian Peterson always did is he he really carried those high knees through the hole makes him makes you hard to tackle and he, yeah. he really did it well there. I thought. Yeah, so I think he's got some definite footwork and lateral ability for sure. So like you said, to improve upon. So not a lot of long speed where he's you know a lot of you know. So we're going to be looking at some short area burst here and long speed. You know, so what's his burst at the line of scrimmage? You know, to, to hit these holes when he sees them. Again, you know, we have limited tape, but this is all we have. I think his burst is, is okay. I, I don't find it to be elite by any means. Um, but again, his, uh, you know, he, he does have acceleration. There's no doubt about it when he gets going. Yeah, you, you know, I, I'm a little bit disagree with you there because I do think that he shows some pretty good burst. Like I, I'd love to see what his ten yard split is going to end up being because mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a lot better than than his his forty speed shows, anyways. But right. I, I oh, think, I he's think so. like you know what I mean. He oh, he yeah. out accelerates this whole Tennessee defense here, cutting against the right. grain, you know. And the way he can change direction on a dime like that, like yeah, it, it, it's absolutely. impressive for a big guy, I think. But but yeah, like you said, we don't see much of the long speed. Yeah, there almost so, sometimes he does. He, it's almost over patient. He, yeah, he almost exactly. takes too long to decide. Yeah, yeah, and I mean so that's where I'm. I think I'm maybe knocking his burst a little bit. I, I, I'm not burst. You know, his burst and acceleration are probably yeah. the same thing. But that initial make that decision and go. You know, he, he doesn't have a, a huge burst, but I think once he gets the acceleration going. So here's a uh, one we were looking at. Again, look at the contact oh. after. I mean, it's just he like carries people. This is but showed some, uh, showed one some of the best here. Things. Yeah, I like how he manipulated that defender, man. That's what you got to look for. You know, these guys got to create space. You know, that guy number right there, he got him to whiff a little bit. He just got his hands on him, slowed him down enough for number twenty. I love it. Watch it. Watch him. number. Yeah, well, watch number three here, though. I mean, he puts him right in a spin cycle. I love yeah. that. Like, he yeah. spins him right around with that dead leg. Like, it's it's impressive for that guy. And, and I wish he, you know, there was more of a straight path to kind of see his long speed there. But he's yeah. stringing together cuts there. kind of takes away from what his long speed might look like. But So, again, just trying to see, you know, what what's that burst getting around the edge, right? Sheds that contact, which is nice. Kind of held yeah. him down a little bit. But... Again, just showing, like you said, his patience. You know, then he makes his decision. All right, let's get to the good stuff, yeah. man. Let's get to his 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 trait. Mm -hmm. I mean, th these clips are impressive. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, the, the, this kid's contact balance and and play strength is exceptional. I think he's tough. Got a big lower half. I mean, that is just I mean, how many guys hit him? Probably half the team. I think I, I think I counted almost eleven guys on this on this play guys. when I actually stopped and counted as they were going. Yeah, eleven yeah. guys I got got hands on. Let's see. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. One, one two, three, two, three, four, four five. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, holy shit, that's impressive. Uh, yeah, so, it was it was a lot of guys. Again, it did, I mean, I just love his contact balance and, here, and the, the leg drive. It's just. Yeah, you don't. You don't. Um, see him go down from one guy 
very often. Yeah. I think it's going to bode well for him too. You know, going back to his burst, I thought he had a little, he was a little bursty on this play when he made his decision coming around there. This is another good one coming up. Boom. Oh, yeah. Just, I mean, I just, again, I mean, what, how many yards did he get at contact, right? Contact. He takes that guy like for a, a ride. Good six yards. Five after yards that. almost. I mean, yeah, takes so his play, his, yeah, his play strength is, is leg drive is, is very good. I think there's one more here of him just. I mean, it's. Just tosses that guy off. Yeah. I mean, oh, I love how he didn't even go down out of bounds. You know, boom. You know, just keeps keeps fighting, <laughs> keeps fighting. So, one more time before we get to his pass catching. All right, very limited play. Like we said, Love he it. had one Love catch it. for 22 yards, but I got a couple, you know, in, incompletions on here because, you know, I don't know how good his hands are. The guy was all over him on that play. But again, I, you know, I have like limited film to go from, but um, the guy kind of was, that was a nice play. Again, another... Yeah, this is what is this is was his twenty two yarder. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't think he's ever Which gonna be a vertical like, I mean, threat. He, he does well not, when he gets I don't think he's gonna be used as like a vertical threat, but Yeah, you know, they they had a little bit of a dropsy there. And we just wanted to at least show his hands, I guess, you know, but he had it right there. He just I think he looked yeah, off he, it, you know, too too quick. So so man, that's it. So I think you know. Yeah, pass it's, it's, we'll see it's if going he on the flat there. What's that? What'd you say? Oh, sorry. I'm just having a little bit of connection. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of connection issues there. No, I was just yeah, saying. No he just whenever he goes on the flat there, he doesn't. He doesn't do a good job adjusting to it on the outside there. Yeah, yeah, and I think that um, you know, I think overall, um, I, I think he's he's a you know looking at that 2023 class that he's going to be a part of. I think he's just another person he's a 2023 class right yeah he's not next year right so right. um yeah, yeah yeah so i think he's you know where is he gonna f you know it's already a deep class already right so what, what do you what do you think his uh, his ability is to maybe make some noise in that top five in that class um you know i think he has a lot of translatable skills to the nfl mm -hmm. level i mean the power the vision at the line of scrimmage um the way he's able to do deception at the line pressing the line a little bit of patience i think he shows yeah. some some advanced traits at the line of scrimmage um but again like we said we, we need to see some, need to see some development on the second uh, level um nowadays if you're going to be in the nfl you got to have some pass catching ability so we got to see some improvement there i yeah. think got to see some more usage some more volume um but I think a lot of, uh, like I said, a lot of his skills are going to translate. I think he is going to be somebody who makes it to our dynasty rosters. Um, he's going to get his opportunity next year. Uh, unfortunately, the first two years of his career are going to be crowded depth charts. And uh, yeah. it'll be nice to see if, we, if he can make a, an impact this year, depending on how well Zemir does with everything. But um, you're looking more towards 2022 and a big year and then probably entering in 2023. Maybe he stays his fourth year because he doesn't really have much on on, on um, the resume. But, but yeah, I think he's going to be somebody who makes it to our roster. I have him ranked pretty high. He's going to be my RB2 in 2023 for now. Um, I do rank a little bit on projection sometimes. I, I think somebody – sometimes I'll rank what I think somebody could turn into rather than right. what we've kind of seen already. So so Kendall Milton kind of falls into that in, into that line of thinking for me. Yeah, I think um, I, I think the the Georgia. If we, it, looking at what we saw against the Clemson game, I think they're going to be feeding the rock a lot. I think they're going to really, especially with Pickens being out and you know Burton's been banged up and not a hundred percent. So, I think that there's a good chance that we see a lot of Kendall Milton this year. And I I think I concur with your thoughts. He's a guy that I think would be a good riser. You know, if he has a really good season. So, all right, man, Corey, I appreciate it. Always a pleasure, man. You joining us, and we got we got a ton of film grinds happening. Um, we got lots lots in the pipeline. So appreciate you tuning in and giving us a watch. Thanks, everybody.